Hey, this is Teresa of Mountain Air Farms. And uh, we're still here at this barn doing some repair. This is part three. And uh, it's been a long, tedious day. Um, they've been jacking all these support beams up and trying to get each one jacked up to where they need to be. Use that four by four. They're definitely not too short. And so this is an upright. This upright's going to stay. Think about what you're doing. I need one of these over there. Actually, this one's not old enough, and I can use it. You want that one, Randy? Yeah, that one. Okay. And what they're doing, he's pushing that support beam up. Don't knock out that wall. It's like everything you do, you gotta be so cautious because everything's just kind of jacked up right now. Watch it, I don't want that to come down on me. Watch what? Oh. Well, you're against the bottom of the port, the pole. What's the problem? Yeah, All the floor doors at the top, you're against them. Right. Except this very first one. I know, but there was nothing supporting this. If you walked under here, it would smack you in the head. I'm just trying to see. If that's straight enough, I can't see because I've got so many daggone braces in here. I can't <laughs> see whether I'm straight or not. I know it needs to come out this way. I yeah. Know yeah, I'm not about to. If it's going to look level on bottom. I can pull it out, I can see. If it fills the top up a little bit more, it'll have to be pretty level. There we go. Okay. Just need to get that post off again. Yep. Right there looks like you're leaning up too much to the top, obviously. But, uh, yeah, the block probably has to come out, so. You have to go over. The whole punch goes over. Yeah, it would have to. But you still like leaning. you'll notice. The top's leaning out. They put far. the center beam in. You know what? That's right. A center post. That whooper is level right there. So that's why I gotta go over to the Need to go over. That way, some because right. you're gonna push that out, but I don't know how much it's gonna go over that way. And then just trying to level up the bases. A lot of guesswork. <laughs> Trial and error. Could you maybe move one of those um, boards and it go? Mm -hmm. Or do you need, still need it to be under the block? I think we're good right there, 
the time we push it push top over. Okay. We're not going to try to push this inch in because that's about what you got to cut off, ain't it? Hmm? We're not going to try to push it up to meet that rafter because that's about what you got to cut off. You won't be able to. You're up against the rafters. Oh, that one is just off. Even the much? next one back there, you're pretty close. Okay. Yeah. You may be able to lift it up some, but no, I don't know whether you're going to be able to lift it up that much. Not an inch and a quarter, no. No. I'm just trying to think how you can lift it. Hit the bottle jack. What did with the jack? We haven't really lifted that one at all, hardly. I mean, it's not moved much today. But it doesn't need to. Well, I don't know. If it come up, we'll get this underneath there and just let it down on it. Well, let's try. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I sure do. So what he's trying to do is using this bottle jack, he's that trying to- hardly no pressure on it. He's trying to jack it up to where that post will can slide up under there. Just very slow and methodical. You just have to slow and steady. Now push your thing in there. Oh, Ooh, so close! So close. I mean, I think. Hang on, get your teeth post. Put underneath it and lift, lift up on it. <laughs> You had to climb in. Should he do it from the inside? No, I gotta have most of my leverage out here. No. Well, I just didn't want to be in the way of the post. Oh. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I got a beater in there. Yeah, we got a lever. Take the bottom out? in. Yeah. Well, that's about as much as the other one. Well, we didn't pull the top out, neither. Oh, yeah. Well, I can do that right now. Uh, we're going to have to cut a block to put in there behind that post then to hold it just like we did in the center. Yeah. Will that no, triangle no. piece go? Uh, it's only a little thicker than that. Just a little bit. Just a little more. Yeah. Uh, we got a sliver. Ain't gonna work. Maybe not thick enough. Well, that's thick enough. Huh? It's still gotta come out. That might be it. Yeah, it might be, and is it? Drive a wedge in there. <laughs>
Watch your fingers. Awesome. Okay, so we've got two supports level and in place. Correct? Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> Well, now we're going to let down that bottle jack just a little bit. All right, do we want to anchor the post to the beam right now? Something uh, like put a brace in there or something, 45 brace it. That way it doesn't, uh, do you want to, that way it's all attached. Do you want to attach that support in that Well, beam? I'm not letting all the weight down on it right now. I'm just, just enough just to, just to see whether it sinks or not. I've not got our brackets to put on there. Right, but you could still put like them four inch screws. Yeah, I can take them on, yeah. I just want to see if it moved. Right. Tell me whether it moves or not. Yeah, it's going to a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. I like that. Yeah. So, now you've got to put the last support on the far end. Yep. yep. So this old beam actually will not really even be worth anything from that point down. Well, it will. I mean, he could take the center beams out. That beam right there is actually sitting on a good foundation. Right. But he can actually take this inside walls out over here and make open space. Yeah, because that's just swinging there. Yeah. Yeah, we you know, if you look at these doors, the doors ain't sitting on the ground. The they're just, you know, not even hanging hardly. You know, where they're just kind of sitting there. So. Now, you've been here what, 5, 6 hours already. Something started about 10. 10 and it's already 4. So. I don't know where my phone is. It's over there on the chair. Yeah, all of this, what he's putting in is straight. We can't help that the barn is not level, but we want his boards to be straight and level. And that's what everything is sitting on. So this is that center. Now, of course, we still have all the bottle jacks. And they're not going to, he's not going to remove the bottle jacks until... You know, everything is all bolted and and put in place where it needs to be. And then he'll come back and remove he'll remove the bottle jack and he'll remove these that the bottle jacks are sitting on. Here's no cars at home. So this will be the third support. He's going to get his measurement. Now your beam up there is what, a four by six that you've put in? Four by six. 
and the support beam is sitting on a concrete block with pressure treated. Can you jack up on that? You know? Jack up on it. Yeah. Quite a bit, actually. And this is that new saw that he's had to buy this past year. Where the tree ate the other one. Ate it. Oh yeah. It fell on it. Oh. <laughs> Big time. It didn't actually eat it. Yeah, it ate it. <laughs> he's saying is once he gets these supports in and they'll screw them up they're gonna wait until tomorrow to remove these bottle jacks that way it's gonna sit here and settle overnight Black bow an inch. That, what do you look for? Something to kind of do what I did before. I don't think it's going to be long enough, though. That T post I is. I don't want to buy in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Started to say that T post is right there. Yeah, we're coming 
Kom så. Ja, og nøje, at han kan gå hver med. Crap. Well. Okay. I gotta put something in there, wedge. Wedge it up. Uh. Hey, just grab your T-post. Yeah. Your T-post. Right here. Oh. Pick it up underneath that and push up on it. Out. Now you might have to shave off the edge. Oh uh, yeah, just a little bit. I mean, you know, play with. Let me another pump or two. I want it higher. <laughs> Breathe. Get your square or get your level. Yeah. The bottom's gotta go through here on the top on this one. Oh, bottom's gotta go that way. You went too far with it. On the top, just come back towards you. you I would bring the bottom in. Well, we'll be underneath that, that cross brace we'll bring the top over. Or that joist, band board, whatever you want to call it. Well, I'm just looking. Yeah, you know, if we bring the top back, we'll be oh, underneath well, here. This whole thing's sitting on that one floor underneath that. Uh, it's still got the bottom down that way, then. About as much. Well, What about the other way? It's way off. <laughs> we can't go anywhere else with it. That's as good as us can get. Well, I mean, how close is it? It's within the line. Okay. Well, I mean, I need to go back to the center of the block. You know. So now he's got his three supports in. That was the easiest one. <laughs> What's the other one? And then once he's uh, gets them all braced in, then uh, tomorrow he's going to be taking these bottle jacks out.
few little creaks, nothing bad. That'll work. Yeah. Okay. Can we leave the jacks underneath them for the night? Yeah. Just bump up like one pop. Okay. Yeah, he wants, he's going to leave the jacks underneath them that oh, way. Pretty much in line. If it settles any. Randy, just explain what your what you've done and we've made a mess. <laughs> you have done that. <laughs> that ain't gonna move. That ain't going nowhere. Yeah. It will tomorrow. Yeah. We'll jack up on that one a little bit to just get it perfectly straight. Right. Yeah. All of it the whole barn's crooked. So, if the part I put in looks straight, that's what I'm concerned about. And now right there, that'll carry the load all the way down through there. Right. And we'll do some cross braces too, back over to the beam. Like underneath the beam, tiny into the other two to six. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll do that, make sure and tie it to that wall. So tomorrow the plan is to put your cross bracing in, uh, your brackets that's going to be holding I everything. Right here at the joints. Well, yeah. Not yeah. No. yeah, those are coming off, but the other one one. on the big, big yeah, ones. Most of the stuff we built today is not going to be here. Right. And then once you get all your corner bracings up, then uh, you're going to take all the jacks down and uh, all this, every yeah. bit of this, it's coming out. You're going to have right. three posts and one beam. That's all it should be. Yep. That is true. And right now he's just putting some big old four inch screws in, just kind of keeping everything in place. Had a lot of work today, and they don't want nothing to go out of place. There's <laughs> enough stuff up underneath this. It is not going to go anywhere tonight. Right. It is 100% better from out here. A lot of good ones will get all that bracing down. Oh, yeah. Our one main beam will be running out there. Right. Oh, yeah. Another fine job, right? Sometimes you just got to slow down and think about it. Yep. Slow and steady wins the race. So. Start putting up the twos. Yeah. Okay. Set for the bottle jacks. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's leave the bottle jacks here for right now. How much do you think it's about 120 dollars a piece? Oh, them are heavy. He's buttoning some stuff up and putting tools away. Well, like I said, this is going to be a continuation. I think where this is what part four, maybe part three, part four. I'm not quite sure on that one. Uh, this is a couple days' job. It's a mini series. Yeah, very mini series. <laughs> but. Uh, I was going to put this out here today, what he's done today. This is the end of the first day. He's probably got about three days of working on this. Um, so it should be nice when it's all finished. Well, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Say a prayer for the people that's been uh, displaced and is in the middle of all the hurricane mess in Florida, as well as the people up in Kentucky. We need to push his boats back in here. So, I think. But uh, yeah, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, remember, we love you. God loves you. Y'all have a blessed day.